how are you doing today? I want to know. Put it in the comments because I want to know if you're having a great day because so far my day is going great. So this video is basically just going to be about the things that I normally take in my luggage. You know I traveled a lot over Christmas break as well as um, just traveling throughout the semester on weekends and school trips and such and so I wanted to show you so far what I'm going to be packing for my school trip to Paris coming this next week. I will be there a week from yesterday. So yeah, here we go. So um, I know you all probably want to know what I'm packing for clothes and I give you a little sneak preview, but you guys are going to have to wait for that because I'm going to try to have my friends um, do like little videos of my outfit of the days each day and I'll compile that all into one video because it can be like a Paris outfit lookbook. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing that. But I'll show you one clothing item that I'm obviously going to be taking and that is my little bobble beanie. I love it. It's so fluffy and fuzzy and fun fact. Because of my bangs are fringe, um, I have to actually wear my um, hat with bobby pins. I have to bobby pin it to my head because otherwise it'll fall off. And um, just in case you were curious, it is from Mango. And yeah, I love this. I have one almost exactly like it back home and ended up obviously forgetting it, forgetting to bring it. So I bought another one here and I love it and so I'll have two when I go back home. Alright, and that'll keep my head nice and warm from the wind and yeah. On to, I guess since, I mean, I that goes on my head, hair, I can talk about that. Because of my coloring, which I am redoing right before I go to Paris, I have to wait, ooh, it's epic. Um, I have to wait a few days. Um, longer than usual people do um, to wash my hair. So I have been using the Sephora Express Dry Shampoo and they had it on sale, it was like 30% off and I was like, okay, I'll take that. I was looking for some dry shampoo there anyways and their brand was on sale so I grabbed two bottles of these. It's been awesome. I haven't been using it too much but just on days where my hair is really greasy and I'm like, I can't, I don't have time to take a shower yet, but my hair needs to look like I have showered somewhat recently. So yeah, that's good for that. And that will be good for traveling so I won't have to always be washing my hair. Another hair product, okay, this is gonna look really funny because um, it's in a hand sanitizer bottle. These struggles of getting liquids through airport security. Um, this is actually a pink shampoo from the the hair product line um, Bleach London, and that's actually what I last dyed my hair with as well as their rose-colored um, Bleach London product, and that's what I'll be dyeing it again with this time. But this is a pink shampoo, so it has a pink color in it, and so each time I wash my hair, it leaves a pink dye on my hair that's like washable, but if I continue to use this, it will build up my pink and help maintain it a bit. And so that's why it's still a little blonde right now, but it still has a pink tint to it. And with that, I don't really have to worry about dyeing my hair all the time because I'm okay with this type of pink as well. So yeah, there's that. And another beauty product that I am obsessed with, you, like seriously. So if you, any of you guys know H&M, um, they have a slightly higher brand called And Other Stories. And ever since I went there in Milan for my school trip last semester, I have been obsessed with them. Like I look at their website all the time, their products and stuff, and I've been dying to go to another one. And while I was in Amsterdam, they had another one and they were having massive sales. And um, this wasn't necessarily part of the sale, but I knew that I needed a new perfume because it, my Lush one just ran out. Um, I was using, ooh, I'll have to let you know, but I was using a Lush perfume and that ran out pretty quickly actually. So 
I got this one from And Other Stories, and it is, see, And Other Stories? It is the Fresh Mint Leaves Stirred into Sweet Amber. Um, it's an eau de toilette, and it's, they call it Moroccan tea. And oh my gosh, guys, this literally smells like, like, mint tea like I'm oh I'm obsessed literally while I was in Amsterdam I went to that first cafe and I showed you guys my mint tea and I was like oh my gosh wait people make mint tea like this like they just put the mint leaves in and it's like honey and stuff and it, oh it's so good and I'm obsessed with it and so when I found like a perfume scent like that oh gosh guys I was all over it so yeah definitely pick that up I've like I've been using it every day and it's hardly made a difference so I'm really excited because it's definitely gonna last me a while and I will definitely be repurchasing it after um, because I'm sure there's a store store in New York too as well so that'll be nice for my uh, bank account on to things that are going to or something that's going to keep me alive and hydrated um, it's just my camelback I take this literally everywhere I go, class, um, just walking around town, like doing errands, traveling, everything. I always have my camelback. It just makes sure that I'm drinking all the time and I've been really working on being hydrated and staying hydrated and I really think that's improving my health and my skin and my body and yeah, I've been really enjoying trying to drink more water basically I have to drink four of these a day to be fully hydrated um, and correctly hydrated so um, with that I'll let you guys know I don't have my phone right next to me but there is an app called plant nanny like plant nanny like like the like the British nannies um, and you literally you like grow your own plants like virtual plants um, with every like bottle of water you drink so you can select like the amount of water like like this is 750 milliliters and with that I like I say okay I've drank a whole bottle and it's like okay good job you've got three more bottles to go today and I'm like yes and you see my little plant's face go <laughs> thank you for watering me and it's so cute and I have two plants already and I'm obsessed and um, one of the girls in my program told me about it because I saw her doing it one day and I was like that's awesome and it actually really does help you drink water because the plants are so cute and don't you want to have a big garden of plants that you've watered because you stayed hydrated I think that's awesome okay <laughs> on to the next thing staying entertained or making memories blah 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 if there is room and my luggage is not too heavy I'm going to take my um, Jeff Vandermeer um, series that I've talked about before um, just because on the plane and trains and stuff I like I like to read and um, and while I read, I like to listen to music because I don't really like outside noise. And I used to not be able to do this. I used to have to like have like just complete silence if I was trying to read. But I've gotten to the point where like I know my own music so much that like when I'm listening to it, I'm not even like listening to it. It's just like a background noise, like white noise or something. Um, so I always bring my headphones. These babies are awesome. I've had them for probably a year or two. I've had these for about a year or two, which probably sounds gross, but I do clean them. And they are Skull Candy. Now I'm pretty sure these headphones are like 10 or 20 bucks. And I love Skull Candy. They have great sound quality. They're very inexpensive and they do last a while if you take care of them. And my actual like over the ear headphones as well are Skull Candy and they like match these exactly because they're white and black. And those are awesome too. They just have great sound quality. They're good quality because like these will get so tangled and it takes me like two seconds to untangle them and the cord has never like broken or anything so yeah those are really handy I always have those with me like if I don't have my headphones with me like it's not gonna be a good day it's just not and then on to making memories well I need to go back up film for this I have two 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 
films left. Um, but my Polaroid, I love it. It's my Instax Mini 8, and it's my baby. Hence all the stickers and stuff all over it. And yeah, wherever I'm traveling, if I'm traveling to somewhere new, I definitely want to take this because I like to have like little like long-lasting memories that I can keep with me the rest of my life and the Polaroids will definitely stay for a long time. So, reminder, Michaela, pick up um, film. I know there's a place under the train station that has film. Now, of course, I've got my clothes behind me and stuff and I will pack like my laptop and I'll pack my like, socks, underwear, blah blah blah, like toiletries, nest like understandable stuff. I don't know what else I'm bringing, honestly. I haven't exactly picked out outfits, I just know a lot of items that I want to take. Well, not a lot, but I am going to Dublin right after Paris, so I do need to have a reasonable amount of clothing, but also there are a few few stores that I'm probably going to be checking out while I'm in Paris and Dublin, so I still want to have a reasonable amount of room in my luggage, but I can tell you guys my method of making the most room in my luggage, which is rolling my clothes. So basically you're just going to fold your t-shirt, pants, jacket, whatever, like you normally, like, like a normal person would, um, and before like folding it in half so it's like displayed nicely you just start rolling it really tightly and with that um, it, it actually really conserves space and I'm also going to be putting my stuff in like a travel space bag like the Ziploc space bag and that conserves space too because I get to suck all the air out and then I can stick everything else random stuff in the nooks and crannies and yeah I'm not exactly sure what shoes I'm going to be bringing yet I think it's going to be like my Converse, my booties, and my Docs, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to have enough room for all of those. Um, and, and my like regular Doc Martens, not the new ones that I have because those are definitely not broken in yet. Those are going to take me a while to break in, which is, it's fine. I love them so much that it's, it's worth it. Yeah, I don't know what else I'm going to pack because I don't think I'm going to pack any homework. Cause it's just it's just gonna get ruined in my stuff but um, I do carry my backpack my purse and my carry-on luggage luckily with my school you can check on your luggage for this trip and so anytime you do have a carry-on luggage you are actually allowed to check it on if you'd like just an FYI for anyone who's traveling if you have a carry-on like and you don't have any other luggage besides like a backpack that'll go under your seat in front of you you can check on your carry-on it's pretty awesome so you don't have to worry about liquids at that point because it's checked unless there's liquids that you'd like to actually have in your backpack traveling tips yeah try to just have your liquids in your carry-on and check on your carry-on it's pretty nice and just leave your laptop in your carry-on because you're probably not gonna get it out on your flight anyways and you, to go through security you have to have your laptop out and everything and it's kind of annoying and a hassle um, so yeah I think that is it for today you guys will definitely be seeing Paris vlogs and Dublin vlogs and outfit of the days and Anything else I have to show you? Oh, I also um, this morning filmed a short film that I will be working on um, soon. And I was thinking this morning I really do want to do a lot more short films on this channel. And so hopefully like on the weekends I can spend like an hour or two just filming with my friends. And yeah, that will be awesome. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye!